Emmanuel Shri Shriki, <laughs> of, uh, who plays Shitara on Thundercats. Hi. Hello. So, um, were you a fan of the original series? I just wasn't familiar with the original series. Not that I wasn't a fan. I'd heard of it. I never watched it. Okay. So, what kind of research did you do and t to create the Shitara character? Um, you know, I was saying this to somebody else down the line. It's really difficult when you're doing, um, when you're redoing something that's already been done, you know, you definitely don't want to imitate. So it, I, it's useless for me to watch previous episodes of how someone else might have played Chitara. So sort of myself and the cast and the director, Andrea Romano, we kind of just like figure it out and we do it. And that's how we do. Okay. And uh, you're, of course, well known for your role on Entourage. Uh, how does it feel to do voice acting versus live action where you're able to interact more with your co-stars? I love doing voice work. It's so fun. Yeah, it's actually very liberating. It's another way to be creative. And it's uh, so completely not about what you look like, which is incredibly liberating. Um, you know, listen, I've never ever in live action gotten to play a character as fierce as Chitara. So I'm thrilled to be doing it in an animation. <laughs> So you say your Chitara is fierce. What else can you tell us about your uh, iteration of Chitara? I mean, she's, you know, uh, she's great. She's, I mean, she's what she was. It's not that different. The, the show itself isn't that different from what it was, I'm told, by the experts. Um, it's really not. Like, I think that the fans will be really pleased. I don't think there'll be um, too much disappointment about it. So, you know, it's just that, if anything, it seems to me that Chitara is more integral in this time than the original. Okay. Uh, do you feel like Chitar is a strong female role model for young girls that will be watching the show? Definitely. I mean, she basically makes it seem like there is no difference between being a boy and a girl. She's as fast, as strong, as smart. It's like she's right there with them. Okay, awesome. And I have one last question. How fast do you think Chitara runs? <laughs> Speed of light. <laughs> Spalding, a producer of Thundercats. So, um, hell, um, what? Okay, uh, how, is this more of a reboot or a reimagining? It's it's a reimagining. It's not it's not necessarily a reboot. We're keeping a lot of the elements from the original show in this. We're just rearranging, you know, playing with that, and um, yeah. So it's not a total reboot. So. How do you feel uh, fans of the original series will react to, to this? Do you think they'll be able to watch it, or is it more for the next generation? It, hopefully it's for both. You know, It's for the people who remember the original show, and it's also for the new kids that don't know anything about Thundercats. So I think hopefully if we played our cards right, we get both. We get both of them. So, okay. so I've been told that in this version, Snarf is not a talking character. What was the dis why, why that decision? That decision came because in the original show, Snarf was pretty annoying, like an old, like an old grandmother, you know, yelling at the kid, you know, telling him Lionel what to do. Um, so we, we took that into consideration, and Snarf will talk, but in just animal sounds, like cat-like, alien cat sounds, and much like Chewbacca or R2D2, Lionel will understand what Snarf is saying. So. And uh, what was the decision to? M to leave it on Thundera rather than going to uh, Ur Third Earth. Well, it, is, it actually is on Third Earth, so th but the Thundera planet we, we tossed out, and that's just the name of the kingdom that we start off with. It's called Thundera. That's where the Thundercats live. So, uh, so do you have any cats, and h did they inspire the the reason for your producing of the show? Uh, I grew up with cats. I don't I don't have one right now currently, but. Their mannerisms and stuff we were looking at for this new one. So we we're trying to get a little more animal quality, see with the eyes, you know, the glowing, glowing eyes at night and um, some aspects of the animal we thought would be cool to bring. Awesome. Uh, so uh, who's your favorite Thundercat, if I may ask that? I think Panthro. I think Panthro is my favorite just because the nunchucks are cool and his attitude, you know, he's really, he's the, he's the veteran um, warrior of the group and... Um, 
I don't know, I just gravitate toward his design and his attitude. I think he's really cool. So. Awesome. Well, I, I believe I'm running out of time. So thank you so much for this interview. Thank you.